Welcome to The Cellar Chronicles, where we uncover the mysteries and marvels of wine bottle collections from around the globe. In the world of wine, every bottle tells a story. But some bottles carry a history so rich, they become legends in their own right. Cheers to the stories waiting to be uncorked, the treasures waiting to be discovered, and the passion that fills every bottle in The Cellar Chronicles. I'm Peter your guide on this Venice voyage. Valuable and unusual wine bottle collections can encompass a wide range of bottles with unique characteristics, historical significance, or exceptional rarity. Let's raise a glass and embark on this extraordinary journey together. The main character of today's story is the Jefferson Bottle Collection. The story unfolds in a structured sequence with the main elements of the story occurring in the following order. The setting lays the foundation for the story to unfold, and the surprising discovery of the Jefferson Bottles collection is revealed. Doubts and skepticism about the authenticity and provenance of the bottle will cast a shadow, fueling controversy and adding to curiosity and uncertainty. An authentication effort will follow detailing the rigorous scientific analysis and investigative work performed. To determine the origins of the Jefferson Bottle Collection and separate fact from fiction, I will then explore the collection's legacy and explore its lasting impact and cultural significance despite the unresolved questions surrounding it. Finally, the last auction in price will look at the latest auction information and prices for the Jefferson Bottles Collection and conclude the story of the Jefferson Bottle Collection, a legacy full of mystery and charm. The Jefferson Bottles Collection gained fame in 1985, when a cache of wine bottles purportedly owned by Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, was discovered in Paris. The bottles were believed to date back to the late 18th and early 19th centuries, and included wines from top Bordeaux estates. The authenticity of the collection sparked controversy and debate among wine experts and historians, making it one of the most intriguing wine discoveries in modern times. The Jefferson Bottles Collection is one of the most fascinating and controversial discoveries in the world of wine. Here's more intriguing story about the collection. The Jefferson Bottles Collection refers to a cache of old wine bottles. Discovered in Paris in 1985, the bottles were believed to have once been part of the wine collection of Thomas Jefferson. The collection included bottles dating back to the late 18th and early 19th centuries with labels indicating prestigious Bordeaux estates, such as Chateau Lafite, Chateau Margaux, and Chateau d'Aquin. The story of the Jefferson bottles began when a group of American wine enthusiasts, led by Hardy Rodenstock, a German wine collector and dealer, stumbled upon a collection of old wine bottles in a bricked-up cellar in Paris. The bottles were purportedly acquired from a hidden cellar in Paris by a French wine collector in the early 20th century and remained untouched for decades. According to Rodenstock and his supporters, the wines were believed to have been acquired by Jefferson. During his time as the American ambassador to France 1785 to 1789 and subsequently transported to the United States, the labels on some of the bottles reportedly bore Jefferson's initials or other markings associated with him, leading to speculation about their authenticity and provenance. Rodenstock arranged a series of tastings and auctions featuring wines from the discovery, sparking international interest and in speculation about their authenticity and provenance. The authenticity of the Jefferson bottles quickly became a subject of controversy and debate among wine experts, historians, and collectors. Some experts questioned whether Thomas Jefferson had actually owned the wines, citing inconsistencies in the provenance and historical records, 
Skeptics raised concerns about the condition of the labels. The absence of detailed documentation, and the lack of corroborating evidence. To support the claim that Jefferson had acquired or consumed the wines. Despite the skepticism, the allure of owning wines. Believed to have belonged to one of America's founding fathers drove prices at auctions to astronomical levels. With some bottles selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Over the years, various scientific and historical analyses were conducted. In an attempt to verify the authenticity of the Jefferson bottles. Carbon dating, chemical analysis of the wine, and examination of the bottles and labels were performed to determine their age, origin, and integrity. While some tests suggested that the wines could indeed be authentic, others raised doubts about their age, composition, and provenance, leaving the question of their authenticity unresolved. The Jefferson Bottles Collection remains a topic of fascination and intrigue in the world of wine, symbolizing the intersection of history, mythology, and commerce. The controversy surrounding the collection has fueled ongoing debates about wine authentication, provenance, and the value of historical artifacts in the wine market. The last public auction featuring a portion of the Jefferson Bottles Collection took place in 2016. The auction was held by Christie's in New York City and included several lots of old and rare wines, including bottles believed to be part of the Jefferson Bottles Collection. Unfortunately, specific information about the sold prices of individual bottles from the Jefferson Bottles Collection at the 2016 auction is not readily available. Auction results are often reported by the auction houses themselves or in specialized publications covering the wine market. However, due to the controversy and skepticism surrounding the collection, detailed information about the specific bottles sold and their prices may not be widely disclosed. It's worth noting that the Jefferson Bottles Collection has been the subject of numerous auctions and private sales over the years with prices varying widely depending on factors such as provenance, condition, and market demand. While some bottles from the collection have fetched high prices at auction, others have failed to sell or have been withdrawn from sale due to authenticity concerns. While the true origins of the Jefferson bottles may never be definitively established, their story continues to captivate collectors and enthusiasts, inspiring curiosity and speculation about their place in wine history. The Jefferson Bottles Collection represents a tantalizing mystery that continues to fascinate and perplex wine aficionados around the world, embodying the allure and uncertainty of historical treasures in the realm of fine wine. If you like the story, please subscribe and like the video and leave the comments.